Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Now, this video is one that I've been probably meaning to do for the longest time, but it's one of those videos that um, you're probably not gonna see a lot of them out there, which is why I wanted to do it in the first place. Um, it's a problem that we will all have as long as we have these uh, second generation or 2G um, Mazda 6s, right? 2009 to 2013 Mazda 6s. They have these uh, hydraulic struts, okay, that keep the trunk up, okay. Unlike a hatchback, it won't raise the trunk automatically. The aim of this strut is to keep the the trunk where you've left it, and also to ease the weight of the trunk because this thing is very heavy, believe it or not. Okay, so. What we're going to be doing is we're going to be going through the tutorial on how to remove and place these struts, these lifters, or lifter skates. There are a number of names out there for them. Okay, so we're going to jump right in and show you. Very easy, very quick, very simple. All right, let's jump in. Okay, so here we have the original, and we see a little bit of uh, hydraulic uh, fluid just about here. Um, on the on the shaft and that's a clear sign that the seal that's inside here has given way and it's starting to leak so it has lost its ability to perform its function so anyway uh, this is the point at which we know or uh, you know we can see that it, it needs to be changed okay another sign that uh, something is wrong is when you attempt to lift uh, the, the trunk and you know you you lift it and it doesn't uh, go all the way up but you know you get to about maybe this position and then you let go and that happens that shouldn't happen it should wherever you, wherever you leave it that's where it's supposed to stay okay so clearly mine isn't doing that it will stay in the upright position and that's fine but the, the amount of effort it takes to lift and you know the effort it takes to close it uh, you know gently is that a little bit more than the manufacturer had intended okay so here we are at the uh, the top of the strut where the cylinder is that's the top side and we need, we need to be looking at this metal clasp that's here now all you need to remove it is a flathead screwdriver there will be a little depression in the plastic molding right underneath the the, this little clasp, little metal band, and you just gently slide the uh, screwdriver underneath. You don't need to pick it off completely, and I would suggest you don't because this thing might go flying into an eye or into a piece of glass or something that you don't want to slide it. But once you get the screwdriver right underneath there, just like that, okay, I slipped a little bit, just like that, it has removed enough that it just gently comes out of place like that okay and then you can just gently remove the screwdriver and that completes the top part of the strut okay now we're going to focus on the bottom part of the strut where the shaft is we just gently turn it around just like this because it's easier to get to the to the metal clasp there's a similar one here at the base and we again we just gently slide underneath this clasp and it just comes gently off just like that okay again guys use caution because we don't want this metal clasp flying away okay and I would suggest that uh, what we do is we keep this we try to keep everything in place just in case the one we buy is of a lesser quality or heaven forbid it doesn't fit and we have to reuse the old one okay now one of the things you might notice is that the new ones don't exactly line up have a look see we'll see that the openings are not the same do not worry about this we'll fix this as time as as we get into the into the replacement okay 
So here we go. Let's jump right in. We want to make sure that these uh, sections here are nicely clean. Um, there is usually uh, some lubricant here inside the new ones. If there's not, you can put a little lithium grease there. That should be fine. Uh, don't use WD-40 or one of those uh, liquid ones because they're not really designed to lubricate. They're, they're designed to, uh, you know, wiggle things free. Um, you want a, a, a thicker uh, lubricant, okay? So we're going to install the new strut, okay, or the new lifter. So you might have seen some videos out there uh, on, on YouTube of people, you know, lifting this and then put a, don't, don't do it. Um, <clears throat> this could fly somewhere and there's no guarantee that this band uh, is the same as the original one before, so it may not fit, okay? So do not lift this if you don't have to, right? So it will just pop in place. Now, again, uh, Mazda requires that the cylinder goes to the top and the shaft goes to the bottom, okay? Close attention because there's a reason, I don't know why, but that's the way Mazda wants it. And again, this is one of the reasons why we do one side at a time because we can always look over and reference the size, for fitment, everything. One size at one side at a time. So here we go. So we just place the opening over this little stud here and push in. Okay, that's it. And then here we are, we are at the, pro the point where we see where uh, let's adjust this here a little bit so you can see. Okay, so we see where the opening does not line up with the little stud. That's fine. We just hold it and turn it. Okay, just like that until it lines up, more or less. And then we just go, I have to bring this, the, the trunk down a little bit. Okay. Boom, that's it. Okay, so here we have fitted it. Okay, so let's go over to the other side and we'll do that one. Okay, and we can be quick with this one because we've done it before. Okay, so we just, and I'm right handed, so this is a little bit awkward for me, but it's simple enough that I can do it quite quickly with my left hand. Again, I'm right handed, I'm useless with my left hand. You can see me trembling a little bit here because my left hand is useless. And there we go. That is literally how quick um, it's done. So set that aside. And this is the new one. And I'll put the links to everybody uh, in the section below. Okay. Once again, remember, cylinder side up on a Mazda 6. Okay. Boom. And boom, there we have it, okay? So we've now installed our brand new uh, lift support struts, lifters, whatever you want to call it, okay? Now, let's go do the acid test to see if it raises and stays the way it's supposed to. Okay, guys, here we go. So I'm going to test this, and, you know, this is as much of a our test for, for me as it is for you and, and for the car because if, if these things don't work the manufacturers or the, the retailers are going to hear about it and they'll be able to see this video and see that it is true all right so here we go so we're going to close it's actually quite powerful it's actually lifting the trunk a little bit look at, look at that i did not expect that guys let's try this again this is amazing it actually has some degree of force Wow, let, let, let's, let's see. I want it. Let's see. Okay. It doesn't. Well, let's see here. All right. There we go. That's the way it's supposed to function. But this thing is powerful. It actually does. Okay. Yeah, it's lifting it a little bit. Look at that. That is awesome. Wow. Uh, this, is, this is awesome. I, I like this. It's crazy. Look at this. I, I like this. This is the way it's supposed to function, guys. Excellent stuff. All right, perfect. Okay guys, here we have a comparison of uh, the struts. Now, this one here, I got on Rock Auto, that's the replacement, okay? The one in the middle is the original, 
and the one at the top I got off eBay now what you want to do when you're ordering these struts is to make sure that the compressed length okay is 6.38 inches or 162 millimeters okay that's what you're looking for okay now the compressed length of the one I got off eBay was actually 7.72 inches or 196 millimeters now why is it wrong because the one I got off eBay is for the Mazda 6 with the spoiler on the trunk okay this the spoiler adds additional weight and you need a, a more robust strut so it's not wrong per se it's just wrong for my car and you want to be, you want to make sure that you know if if you if you see it on sale just you know send the seller a message hey what's the compressed length of this thing okay you're looking for 6.38 uh, inches or 162 millimeters that's the correct one okay and um, you know the guys uh, you know I just have to put it out there the guys uh, um, at eBay uh, they were really good um, they, they really you know they, they were the ones who reached out to me and say okay look you know what measure it tell us you know uh, what you've got so on and so forth and you know they sent back to me and said hey look we don't have that in stock um, hey keep it we give you a full refund you know sorry for the mix-up whatever they were really really good um, you know it's just one of these things I mean I, I still recommend them you know they were great customer service even though uh, they didn't provide me with the right part but jumping on to Rock Auto boom if you have the spoiler get the one with the spoiler for the one with the spoiler which is uh, 7.72 inches 196 millimeters uh, if you don't have the spoiler get the one without the spoiler which is uh, 6.38 inches or 162 millimeters all right guys hope that helps you guys out perfect so there you have it guys we've gone through and we've repaired our our trunk in a matter of minutes actually and that's what it's all about all right so hey like share subscribe and i'll see you guys soon